good morning, everyone. It's wonderful to be back here at the Torch Center for our Rav Wolby on Chumash, uh, learning the teachings of my, my grandfather uh, on the Parsha. Before we do so, I want to share a short idea on this week's Parsha. So we have Abraham and Lot, his nephew, uh, get into some type of quarrel, and it seems from the verses of the Torah that they're, they, you know, they're arguing about whose sheep is whose, and Abraham says, you know what, I, I, I just don't want to fight. You go your way, I'll go my way, and, and, and that's it. And it's very interesting because it really, if you look, it really wasn't Abraham, and it wasn't Lot. It was Abraham's shepherds and Lot's shepherds. Right? So why do they need to, 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 to you know, separate? Because their shepherds are fighting. So the Chavetz Chaim says a beautiful idea. He says that someone who cares, like Abraham did, about their spirituality wants to distance themselves from anything that has to do with the fight. If it has conflict, even if it's second, secondary, because you have, it's Lot's shepherds, it's his shepherds, you know what? I want to wait. I don't want to have anything to do with any association with fighting. Any association with quarrels, with, with, with disputes. It's an amazing, it's an amazing uh, foresight that Abraham had uh, to see, you know what, nothing good's going to come of this. No good is going to come from having this dispute. And therefore, I want nothing to do with it. Uh, you know what, Lot, you take your, your, your shepherds, you go one way. I'll take my shepherds, I'll go another way. I just don't want to have any, any conflict and any dispute in my, in my... I think it's so critically important uh, in our relationships, in our, in our friendships, in our uh, synagogues, wherever we go, to always have a frame of mind of distancing ourselves from fights, Distance, distancing ourselves from anything that can lead to a dispute. Stay away from it. Abraham says, I, I just don't want it. So they resolve it, this and that. Some things you're never going to, you know, it's like we all know that everyone has triggers. They have triggers. They have things that this is going to, it's going to create a fight. So you know what? Stay away from it. Stay away from it. There's no need to always, you know, bring it up just for the sake of truth, for the sake of, Abraham doesn't say, you know what, I'm right, you're wrong. Abraham says, you know what, there's a dispute, I'm out. I, I want to leave. I don't want to be part of this. I don't want to be party. Why? So my rabbi said a very, very amazing thing. He said, many people ask for things from the Almighty. They say, Hashem, Hashem, please, Hashem, please help me with this and help me with that. You know, this person needs healing, please help them. This one needs a, a shidduch, they need, they need to find the marriage. This one needs this, Hashem, please help, right? And then they say, how come Hashem doesn't answer my prayers? He says, fighting? creates a barrier between us and the Almighty. When we have fights, what it does, it creates, imagine like a, a, a stone separation, a stone blockage that doesn't allow our, our prayers to reach the heavens. As soon as we make peace, everything, everything is able to be elevated. It removes all the barriers. All the blockades get removed when we resolve disputes <coughs> right it's funny because you, you look at, at what we say in the Mishnah about Aaron it says oh have shalom virodev shalom he would not only love peace but he pursued peace pursued peace means not only my own fights other people's fights most of us say you know what they have their own yeah. thing I'm out of it yeah. leave me alone I don't want to resolve it right? and we see that Aaron said no 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 I, want to, I, want, I love peace so much, I'm going to make sure everybody has peace. I make sure everyone pursues peace, right? And, it, and he would go and, 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 and fix relationships that were broken because of dispute. And he just, he just wanted, he wanted it to be resolved because that brings blessing to the world. That brings blessing into our lives. When we resolve disputes, what we do is we're opening up the barriers between us and heaven. God says, if you can't work it out among yourselves, don't come to me. Don't come to me. Figure it out among yourselves and then come to me. Right? And the more peace we have, the more blessing we have. Abraham recognized this. He says, you know what? If we don't move away, 
you know, the lowly shepherds, they're going to be involved. Just distance them, they're not going to have any issues. You go your way, I go my way, and that's it. And no, no, more, no more, because there's no blessing that can come to our lives if we have dispute. So with that, my friends, have an amazing Shabbos. Thank you for joining us. We're going to continue now with our live class here and learning more in-depth each parsha. Thank you, and have a terrific Shabbos, everyone.